Hi, it's Rosie from Rose by Name Co. I've come back today uh, just to do a little share on a, a few things that I found at the thrift store and I do like to go antiquing and um, when I do find um, an antique store somewhere, usually in a small town if I'm visiting someone, um, I will try to uh, poke my head in there and see if there's anything unusual or something that I could find. So in this case, I did uh, find this beautiful tin uh, with cards in it. I will open it in a second. And um, I did find some more hankies. Um, uh, this I found a little while ago and this I found recently. Uh, but I just wanted to share the hankies with you. And I did use one of them in my journal recently. And I'll make a couple more. I love this color, um, the pastels and the corals. Um, I love those colors. So let me just show you the tin first. It is um, something that holds cards inside. And um, this is from uh, Renoir, the painter. And uh, it is from, it uh, looks like, uh, between 1841 and 1919, some paintings that he did. and. It's been put into cards and this one is just one card that is sitting in here and then you can actually change it in the tin. You can put something else in it if you wish, but it looks uh, beautiful just the way it is. Um, so this is the card that's in the front and then it does have these envelopes and look at them. They're beautiful. They have uh, the painting in the front of a, a dancing couple, which is uh, from the front here and this one as well. And uh, on the back is another Renoir. Uh, <clears throat> this one is another painting of his. If I can find it now, of course. It's in here somewhere. There it is, the second one. Um, so it's in the back of uh, the envelope. So all these the envelopes are all the same. With the back like this. and uh, But the cards are a little bit different. Um, there's a couple missing because, of course, it was at the thrift store. Somebody has used it and... Um, just uh, didn't have a need for the rest of them but I will definitely use these in a journal look at them when you open it as well um, beautiful depiction inside as well a little bit uh, lighter of the same painting and uh, this one is of course the luncheon of the boating party 1881 oil on canvas and the uh, company is doing uh, printing these is masters of fine art uh, tree free greetings uh, in um, Washington DC USA so it looks like printed 2005 a couple of those and then uh, this one of this beautiful girl uh, with her beautiful long red hair and then inside um, there's her um, profile as well very very beautiful so I have a few of these that I can use and then there's a couple over here and looks like the lady um, is on a swing and um, the gentleman is probably helping her and making sure she doesn't fall and maybe um, you know he's serenading her or something and uh, just a um, beautiful uh, blue green inside for this one and this one here let me see on the inside just beautiful uh, same painting a little bit lighter rendition of it and um, beautiful couple in love i know already what i'm using this one for so this one is the renoir paintings on a card in this beautiful tin that i will use even after the cards are gone now over here i have some um, fine linen and uh, embroidery and so on this beautiful blue one look at this isn't it gorgeous this beautiful blue hanky uh, with this embroidery on the bottom very very delicate uh, blue and white of course very very uh, beautiful and easy to put in any journal really um, uh, already, already goes with the box here so I might be able to use it in the journal I'm making next a custom journal about the Victorians and this one too, look at this beautiful coral. I love any coral, pink or so on. And this one also has a beautiful embroidery on the bottom, very, very delicate. And also scalloped on the sides. Now, of course, the hankies may not be in perfect shape. They might have some spots or some 
off color because they are vintage. They're, they're not brand new and I did not buy them in, uh, you know, a package or anything. They just came um, a bunch of them together at the antique store. So I do have a couple of the same ones, it looks like here, which is good. That's always good. Uh, this one, I'd have to iron it a little bit, but also very pretty and um, just a beautiful uh, feel to it as well. Looks like maybe a little bit more cotton or I'm not sure exactly what that would be. And then um, the edging here with the green, very pretty. Even if it's not embroidery per se, it still looks very pretty um, with the combination of these colors. I will just uh, have an iron to that a little bit. And then this one, I love this one too. Uh, lace on the bottom here, or ribbon, or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, linen over here, cotton. And just uh, feels uh, beautiful to handle. And it, this one does have a little bit of this coloring, like I mentioned, but that's all uh, the appeal. The, that's the actual appeal to it, that it looks vintage and used and cherished in some way previously and will be again. Uh, this one looks like uh, is a lacy, uh, maybe collar that uh, someone uh, made once upon a time. So it's a collar that goes on a shirt and almost like a bib. So now I might use this whole piece as it is or snippets of it. I do have some choices in this, so uh, definitely will be used in a journal or on a tag or a journaling card or some lace uh, snippets that um, go into a journal anyways and be enjoyed uh, with this beautiful scalloped edging here. Now this, um, this beautiful linen uh, hanky uh, with this embroidery down here. I did use uh, one recently and that journal is sold now. It's called In the Garden and that one is included in that journal. And I do have a couple more, so we'll be able to share these um, in future journals. And then this one. So here's the discoloring uh, that I'm talking about also. And, um, but it doesn't bother me at all. It's just really the way I want it. And I might even add a little bit more in that case, um, around the edges, even uh, with the distress inks or a little bit with uh, tea. So here it looks like it has uh, three little green uh, clovers and a few over here. So very, very delicate embroidery in this one as well, and as well as the edges. And then uh, this one is a larger one. I don't know if this is two maybe. Okay, it is two. So I do have two of these with these uh, very pretty flowers in, uh, in the dark reds and um, burnt red almost, orangish and so on. Uh, so this one um, I can also use possibly even on the cover because it is a larger piece. So it opens, opens up a little bit more as well. It's a large Yankee. And I just attracted me uh, with this uh, beautiful uh, flowers on it, anything with flowers really. I just tend to gravitate to it and as soon as I see flowers I pick it up. So I do have two of these that I can use and then um, some of these as well. Let's see. So I got these hankies for, you know, only cents really uh, per hanky. Uh, it was maybe together $4.99 or that, that's not a lot for a whole bunch of these. And then um, also while I'm at it, I wanted to show you this also this uh, fabric here which is um very like boho like but also as i mentioned to you i was i'm going to do uh woods journal and this is one of the um, possible ones i might use because it has a lot of the browns and the greens and uh, so on that i could use uh, for the cover of that journal as well so i will put all these together and do a video um, in a, with a few of these fabrics to see how and which one I will choose for my Woods Journal um, for Beast Woods of Wolfology series number four. So I will um, 
put that together in another video for you in the future. So I appreciate you coming by and, and just for this little share of what I got at the thrift store. I love uh, watching um, all of you as well who uh, share with us uh, your finds and uh, thrift store and whatever kind of hauls you might have, anything that has to do with crafting and so on. So please come again. Uh, if you can, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Again, it's Rosie at Rose Baninko. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.